I want to show you something to do with the wiring on these lights here. First we'll open the hood. See there's, there's one fuse box here. See this big thing is a fuse box. You can just open these with your thumbnail or a penny or something. It pops off real easy. There's a bunch of fuses there. Or you pull this here. That releases the hood. And then you come over here and right underneath here, there's right above the Ford sign there, there's a little thing here. Kind of hard to do with one hand. So there's these light modules here. See this thing here? See if I can get a better picture here. Yeah. This one they've got it uh, tied to the side. So see how there's three of them here? See how there's three of them here? One, two, three. Okay, so there's, there's one on this side for this light. And there's then there's one on this side too for for the uh, for the other light and this one they just got it hanging here because because the battery's in the way. So you can see here, it's just a, a light module. The number is 07347. 07347. And BN010911. Uh, BN010911. This uh, 07347, you could order it with that. Now, I've seen them on eBay for about 70 bucks or you can get new ones for about 100, 120. So inside here there's fuses just like regular car fuses. Uh, I've got one blinker here that doesn't work and the fella at the uh, Meyer repair shop would tell me he said if the light comes on but the blinker doesn't work he said it's normally just a fuse inside here so I had a mechanic check it out and he said all the fuses are good but there's a there's a snap on one of these things that that are broke so let's see if we can find it here okay so here's the yellow one you just got to push down on this thing a little bit and pull it out so you can see in there the yellow one's fine you could probably use some of that dielectric grease but we'll worry about that later so I'm, I'm, I'll go ahead and push this one back together here there is snow goes back together like so you can see there's a little clip here a little clip down here and then this one's the same thing here just kind of pull up on this thing a little bit try not to break it See in there, that one looks fine, that plug looks fine. So this is the one I think had had the, uh, the knob broke. 
So let's see if we can get this one off and check it out here. Don't break the clip. So what I'm what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order this module here, and some of them come with just the module, and some of them come with the cable too. So I'm gonna see if I can get this cable. I think I saw the cables online for like six bucks. So cables aren't expensive. If you buy the whole if you buy the whole harness, the whole harness is like five hundred bucks. So you can see here, so you can see in there, I'm getting a glare here, far, far left, the one knob is broke off. See it's pretty dirty too. And then, uh, you said it looks like it's broke inside there. Okay, I went inside and checked out the diagrams online. You can just do a search for the number 07347 and it pulls up all types of wiring diagrams. And uh, I wanted to make sure that each one was supposed to have six. One, two, three, four, five. So there is one broke off here on the green one. It's, I only have five. And let's see. So if I put this in here, the one that's broke off is the one is the red one here. So green one, red cord is power. So I'm not getting power to something. And the black one, I thought maybe the black one was, was the one broke. Because uh, I'm getting all type of weird... My, my lights are really dimming a lot. But you can see it, it's really black here. So, let's see, the one... The one on uh, the diagram says the yellow one green is the turn signal here so you, I, I would think that this one would be broke here so what I'm going to do is clean that one off see how dirty it is on the inside here They're all pretty dirty, pretty mangy. I'm running low on fluid. I got this cleaner at AutoZone. I think I got enough for today. Got some Q-tips here. Usually you don't need Q-tips with this stuff, but I got I got a lot of grime in here, so can't hurt, right?
got some toothpicks here too so I can swish the stuff around. Plastic Q-tip so I don't get electrocuted. Now if this don't work, I gotta buy a new module anyway, so. I'm looking down inside there and it doesn't really look like there's a spot. Oh yeah, it's broke off. You can barely tell. See, that would be the power. I don't I'm not sure where the power is going. I have to check out the diagram, so that might be why my blinker doesn't work or getting weird problems. I'll tell you if that's broke off, it broke off awful clean. And then here's here's the green plug here. See if we can get this cleaned up here. Just trying to pick at this plug here, trying to clean it up. If I can get it to work, I'll save myself 150 bucks or so. $70 or so for the part and 30 bucks to have the guy put it in. Okay, so I got this little pick here. 
I'm just gonna see if I can pick at this without getting a, get, getting electrocuted. See if it's actually a part.